Welcome back to, I was just about to say showdown, but welcome back to Uprising and second to last TV show before our next pay-per-view, which has come around so quickly, uh, Civil War 2002. And tonight we're just going to focus on just intensifying those feuds that are hotting up for Sunday evening or Sunday night. So... We're going to open things up with Road Warrior Hawk beating Mark Jindrak with a little interference from The Wall. Uh, the Wall's going to be facing Mark Jindrak for the TV title. Uh, the Wall is current TV champ. We've got a little bit of an uh, experiment here. I want to see how these four get on together. There's two feuds into one. And it's uh, the Cat versus Buff Bagwell and Canyon versus Sting. If it goes well, we'll have it on Sunday. So, uh, Bacat and Canyon are teaming up against uh, Buff Bagwell and Sting there. Here we've got Just Incredible and Lance Storm calling out Tommy Dreamer and Sandman. Um, they want uh, them to face them for the tag titles on Sunday. Jamie Noble's going to retain his US, sorry, his Cruiserweight title over Lash LaRoe. And uh, Scott Steiner's going to have a little say in that as well. We've got an angle here, Shane Douglas is going to call out Sean Stasiak and give him the opportunity for a shot at his US belt at the weekend. And in the main event, Lance Storm is going to beat Chris Candido. So uh, not a bad opener, just very average. That did okay. Um, and I think with a bit more build-up, uh, we, we've had it now, so I think another match between them would be um, a bit better than that. Um, I think it's worth sticking with so we can have the extra match in there. So um, I think, well, it wasn't fantastic, but now the fans have seen it and, you know, the, the feuds will have hotted up a little bit more after showdown. I think we can stick with that plan. Um, Sandman gained overness from this. Uh, this call out from Team Impact, so that's good. There we go. Issue a challenge for a match at Civil War. Team ECW accept, and the two tre teams trade insults for a while before leaving. Lash Row, Jamie Noble, as usual, fantastic match. Shane Douglas calling out Sean Stasiak to, uh, to a match at Civil War. That has gone down very well for fans. Um, after Douglas's and Palumbo's really bad match last time. I'm not too optimistic about this one. But the feuding and that is the match. But I'm sure it'll be better than Palumbo Douglas. Main event, good rating there. Lance Storm was sluggish, but I think it's um, important to try and uh, get his morale back up because he's very important to us at the moment. And not a bad 72% rating there. 2.18 uprising. Another good rating. Uh, Lodi wants to go against Lash LaRoe. Okay, we can do that at some point. Kaz Hayashi wants to go against Shane Helms again. And Unhappy Workers. Storm 2%, Sting 9%. Writing Staff. Not a lot to say there. Have we put Jericho on our shortlist? Got any news before Saturday? It doesn't look like it. Just... The Smackdown rating there. Let's have a look at these feuds going in to um, Civil War. So we know Hennig Hogan's going to be ended. Jarrett Candido, that could be ready to be ended possibly after another uh, Candido interview segment on Showdown. What about Steiner LaRoe? Same with that. Um, Free one to Stasiak in that feud. Bagwell the cat to to Bagwell uh, to the cat. What does it say? Hall Jindrak, Wall Jindrak, uh, Canyon Sting. Yeah, so pretty much the same. So I think that pretty much wraps up uh, this show. So what what we what we do on for showdown before. The pay per view event, we give a lot of the uh, younger, less over talent an opportunity to prove themselves as we want to keep uh, fighters on the pay per view card fresh. So, 
Um, expect to see the likes of Randy Orton and Mark Henry and uh, the Alter boys. So um, I'm sure it will be a good show. And look forward to seeing you next time. So we've got uh, Civil War hoping that it can be as successful as Super Brawl Revenge, which was a good 84%. So stay tuned.